mute him in Zoom. To you on that yeah, opening my, there, my right? Favorite nerd. You said you like that Seinfeld type of thing, so yeah. we figured we'd just go ahead and. Uh, <laughs> that was great, though. My favorite, give you, nerd give you a favorite nerd. Plus, kind of a little bit of a, almost like a Saturday Night Live, yeah, uh, you know, mix points. up with some of the images in the area and I stuff like that. I now know what you did all last night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just kind of repurposed something we had done earlier and then uh, added our logo to it. But hey, I'm RJ Murdoch. This is Chris Seaman, and today is May 12th. 12th. 2020. Hey, yep. Yeah. And uh, you know what? We have a well. I see our our guest. We got a busy guest. We got a busy he's guest. guest. He's, he's working right now. We might want to go. We're going to bring him in so that we can. No, he's actually working with a customer right now. Okay, so like. let's. So, so we're just going to go ahead and do our normal stuff for the most part. So uh, well, this is good because uh, we're going to talk a little bit. Of, do our normal stuff because when you get to Crab Island, that'll be the great segue about uh, <laughs> yeah. our guest there. Yeah, if it all works out, that'd be great. And then uh, he, he also knows that when he's ready to go, he's going to give us a thumbs up. So okay. we should be able to get to go. So um, let's see what's happening today. Oh, I, th I think one shameless of the things. Plugs. Shameless plugs. Shameless plugs. Why not? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do the shameless plugs. All right. If you are watching right now, you are watching on EmeraldCoastTV.com or, or you're watching on our Facebook. But we're also streaming live on YouTube and on Roku and Amazon Fire. And... Um, you know, that's just uh, all about, the ways that you all can watch the way But one of the things we want to also get you to do, if you can, if you're on Facebook, we would like to, you to go ahead and go to the new What's Up Emerald Coast Facebook page and like us and follow us. Because if we get enough likes over there, we're going to start to start streaming directly to that. Yeah. So that way, I mean, Emerald Coast TV is still producing it. But that way, this show is all about, that page is all about this show and what we do and, and our guests and everything else that we, can, we want to share with that thing. So highly recommend that. I think uh, while our guest is not on the phone, you know, we might, our goal is to get this show oh, to be part of Tell you what. what's, what's up for Walton Beach, what we did. So if we sometime, one day, yeah, maybe we, could we do that. qualify to be part of that page, that'd be something <laughs> else. Because, I mean, he's got a huge Absolutely. following. Absolutely. I think we're, we've shared this, this broadcast with that. Uh, but speaking of broadcast, you know, we wouldn't be here without you, Chris. And Chris, of course, is known about CrabIsland.com. Yeah. He is the CrabIsland.com man. You know, uh, you know. A lot of people were just utilizing the fact that they can be out in the water. And it was a good Priest weekend. asset on the Emerald Coast. And uh, let's get to our guest, uh, Gareth Stearns. Hey, buddy, uh, between you and I, the two connections, I love the, uh, the, the segue about what your, your Facebook page, Fort Baltimore Beach, what we did. That's fantastic. And there's a lot of neat reads on there. And then at the same time, you're literally right now in the middle of Destin, having opened up Gilligan's Water Sports and the restaurant, ready to get busy. And uh, I, as an entrepreneur, I'm sitting here admiring what you're doing. You're also doing our show. So thank you very much for being on here with us oh, yeah, today. Yeah. I appreciate it. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I do apologize in advance if I if uh, the course of everyday business interrupts me, whether that's through a phone call or a walk up or whatnot. So you're, you're at work. So where, where are you at at the moment here? Well, I, well I'm in Destin on the harbor. I'm at uh, Gilligan's Water Sports, written out. Uh, Jet I'm sorry, where did you say? And Gilligan's, Gilligan's Water. Water Sports. Oh, look at that. Gilligan at 850 <laughs> You can reach it directly there. I say yeah. this, we're all about no, the shameless maybe, plugs yeah. here, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Appreciate technology. That. Yeah. So we're at 530 Harbor Boulevard, and we are, we just opened up this past Friday, and we are renting out pontoon boats and jet skis and parasailing excursions. And, and uh, yeah, I tell you what, we're, we are pleased to see the locals coming out and living their best lives and spending some of that hard earned government money. There you go. On <laughs> local proprietorships like us. That's fantastic. So, uh, Gareth, I, I, you know, you open Friday and, you know, every time you cross the bridge, to me, looking at that at Crab Island, that's the amazing asset. There's a little bit of issue about the parking has changed over there where the government, where the, the, the uh, Air Force Base uh, has closed off that little space along the west side. And therefore, I noticed for some, you know, I see more boats out there immediately. I mean, you would think that it's not even quarantine life or pandemic life. 
because Noriega Point is covered up. The west side of the jetty is covered up. So, you know, compare right now the second week of May to last year, the second week of May. Mother's Day was always kind of like a down day to me when I was out there with the houseboat. Um, so is uh, how, how does that compare to last year? Well, this last this past weekend was a bit of an anomaly. Um, yeah, we had we had the Mother's Day component to it. We had the first weekend of really being open and people opening up their wallets. And then there were some other uh, variables that we that we've come to uh, discover in the past couple hours. That apparently there was a music video shot there this past weekend. <laughs> big, no kidding. <laughs> that was a big driver of uh, of some of the uh, people that were out renting the boats and having a good time and enjoying our beautiful waters out in Crab Island. So <laughs> it was a bit of an anomaly this past weekend. So it's it's kind of an apples oranges comparison. Really, the 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 uh, the fun thing to talk about is just life opening back up again and people right. yeah absolutely out and enjoying to the extent possible the you know the way things used to be in a socially distance responsible type manner so uh, I th it's, it's going to be some baby steps i think you answered my question about uh why i saw about a half dozen uh boats rafted up out there because that must have been when they were filming the video um as as your guests come up two questions uh, one is the, the kind of ratio of, of visitors to the locals. I know the locals. We live here because of things like Crab Island, uh, because of our sugar white sand. So what percentage of the guests that you're getting right off the bat are from out of town? Are that's they a, here? That's a great question. And then second, the follow-up to that, as they come to you, do they express their concerns about the, the, the basically the, the suggestions about dealing with pandemic life or do they just blind it out as they give me a boat, get me out on the water and I'm not concerned? <laughs> uh, well, to, to answer the first part of your question, I believe that uh, we're, we're experiencing probably three quarters of our business through locals right now. Okay. So the, that's, and that's great. We're, we're being kept extremely busy by the locals. So, so good on the Oklahoma County residents for doing that and South Walton and, and the surrounding areas. Um, I, I believe that, at least from my experience, I can't speak to everyone, uh, most of the phone calls that I have coming in from out-of-towners, these people are expressing a real level of concern that we are following social distancing standards and that uh, wanting to make sure that the, that the beaches are indeed open and that they are following all the rules to the letter of the law as they are constantly changing. So uh, I'm seeing a, a lot more positives in that regard with people adjusting to these new societal norms as opposed to people that are just out there and looking to sign whatever paperwork and get on the, get out in the water and uh, no wake zones be damned. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great analogy. The no wake zone is uh... a, yeah. and, and of course he's over there. Gilligan's water sport. Another opportunity yeah. for a shameless Appreciate plug right that. there. But yeah. I, I do like the no wake zone analogy because uh, you know, that that's what this is about. Uh, you have to be a, a cognizant of your wake that you leave uh, as you go through our pretty areas. And that's the same way with dealing with the pandemic. Let me uh, switch over to the restaurant a little bit. I know you said you got, you're getting the restaurant open. Um, give us a little progress report on that. I saw, um, I was across the street just uh, the other day uh, with one of your neighbors getting some food. And I saw you had the now hiring sign up there. How's that going? And uh, are you getting most of your, your old staff back? You're more of a seasonal thing. So does your staff, were they just a little more patient? We got to wait another month and now we're all coming back. How's that going for you? We had just really started to kind of rip the bandaid off of the winter season before all of this happened. You know, most of the staff had, had started to trickle in. Most of the, the non-school age staff had started to trickle in sort of towards the end of February. And then it was, uh, you know, kind of play it by ear with the weather sort of thing. And... We, we didn't really get too much of uh, maybe a few weeks to kind of cut our teeth and get readjusted to everything before all this COVID-19 stuff happened. So uh, with it, with having reopened this past Friday, it's it's we're not I wouldn't say that we're fully staffed just yet, but uh, we're getting there. And, you know, it's 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 baby steps and it's it's at a much uh, more positive outlook than any of us were 60 days ago. That's for sure. Excellent. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, um. Some of you know you from working at Gilligan's, but most of us know you from being the moderator and the group administrator for, for Walton Beach, what we did. <laughs> 
And I know, we, I know a few of them are probably watching you right now on that Facebook page. How did that get started? And how long ago did that get started? And what is that's it? That's good. Well, <laughs> okay, that's a great question. All great questions. Well, Fort Walton Beach, what we did is this little Facebook group that I started on January 31st, 2009, around 1032 in the evening, Eastern time zone. <laughs> uh, to be exact. So we're, we're about 11, <laughs> just shy of our 11 and a half birthday. And basically what it is, it's just a digital repository of wow. online images and memories that all have ties to nostalgia and uh, ties to the area. So basically, I'll give you the, the, the short answer uh, to the extent that I can, because I'm very long winded. Uh, <laughs> oh, I wanted to see pictures of some of these landmarks that I remembered as a child, uh, signs from businesses or businesses themselves. And I didn't have any in my own personal photo album. So I thought, what if I created this group where I share my own photo albums and then people that have photo albums collecting dust in their own closets that have pictures that would never be seen outside of their own families. What if they shared those in this group? And then people right. tend to comment and start this whole conversation about the most mundane things. And it's really, it's, I created something, I guess, that didn't exist prior to it. And I guess that's, right. what's the cool thing about it. Well, that's uh, that's a great thing to have that creativity and, uh, you know, you're almost documenting history digitally um, for a great area that has a long history. So I enjoy seeing a lot of the stuff that exactly what you just described. When people started, I started latching on when I started seeing people post comments and pictures about the old racetrack that created the name Racetrack Road. And that's when I started paying attention going, hey, man, there's some really cool history to the community. It's not all just about Destin and the turpentine world and the fishing world. It's really about what happened in Fort Walton Beach. So let me ask you this going forward. Are you already starting to write the what we did for 2020? <laughs> so uh, we can look back at some craziness. No, yeah, I mean, I, I, I try to live history every single day. I try to, to, to step outside right. myself and, and live in the moment with every single day. And uh, you know, I, 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 I wore, wearing a mask I, over the last 60 days, I got outside to see the community and sort of take in the beauty of the area being empty in the surrealness of it all. And as beautiful as it was and as calming and as peaceful as it was, I am ready to rip that Band-Aid off and move <laughs> forward and get this economy going again. That's in fantastic. a socially yeah. distancing, responsible yeah. manner, of course. Well, and in line with that is basically the reason why I gave you a call this morning is because I saw your post on the uh, Four Walton Beach, what we did, about you getting a haircut at 12.01 at <laughs> a.m., on Sunday, on Monday morning. Yeah. Uh, I think I actually have that up on, on the screen here. I can actually show some of that. So <laughs> why don't you tell us about it while, um, while I kind of show some of the audience some of this stuff on there. Well, yeah, absolutely. Basically, I, I became aware of the governor's executive order that uh, salons and barbershops could open starting on Monday. And I assumed Monday meant 12.01 a.m. So, and I knew that if I didn't act quickly, I might have to wait a few weeks to maybe a month or so before I could even get in. <laughs> so I reached out, I reached out to my personal stylist, uh, Donna Dalton Lambert over at Salon Brigitte. And I said, basically, I would love to get, I'd love to book you for 12.01 a.m. I'll pay whatever. I'll even go live <laughs> to promote your business. And that's, that's sort of, that was the genesis of it all. That is fantastic. You know, I, I yeah. share a similar, <laughs> that, that, the, you, the fact that you went ahead and did it at 1201 and, and, and videotaped it to promote it. Yeah. I really appreciate that as a marketing uh, genius there. That was, uh, that's pretty good. So points for you. You know, I go, uh, I, I had this similar conversation where I'm literally was knocking on uh, Clark's Barbershop going, uh, Jose, you know, when can I get in your store? This is driving me crazy. And uh, so I appreciate you making that. Although I did see the hair you had going into the shop there, and I can see the motivation. That was some big hair. That was some big hair, my friend. Yeah, well, it, I, it, yeah, it was It was go big or go home. It was a snooze you lose, it was a, you snooze, you lose scenario, and that would be a literal and figurative uh, analogy. There, That's great. I mean, even if I waited much longer, I, I, yeah, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't let the public continue to see it. <laughs> Great. Well, Garrett, we really appreciate you coming on board. I know you've got some people probably waiting to rent out pontoons. You're welcome to stay with I us do. if you can. But if look, not, at all these, 
Look at all Look these at people all. been patiently waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you got to let him go. <laughs> hey, all man, right. get to work, my friend. Yeah. We're really proud of you. Right. Whatever we can do to help you out, you let us know. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. That is fantastic. Oh, that was awesome. Man, we're interrupting work. I don't, I don't like doing that. You know, that the, the, my entrepreneurial blood is like going, what? You got people waiting? We need to go. <laughs> exactly. So, well, that's fantastic. I, and all three aspects, RJ, he, he, he does a fantastic Facebook page that uh, kind of keeps us together here in the community, the Emerald Coast. And I've got to thank him for that page because when I had to do a, I did a, a, sh a video about the town of Shalimar. Sure. And I, a lot of the uh, photos I was able to right pull there. from there because yeah. people had some old uh, newspaper articles. They had um, other pictures of the marina, right. of the courthouse, everything, and, and yeah. the schools and stuff like that. It was a great source for that. And on I mean, top of that, he's uh, he's got a restaurant right there at Gilligan's, uh, you know, serving fresh seafood. And that's, you know, and he, he does it a little different than a lot. You know, I grew up on the Eastern shore of Maryland and Ocean City was very seasonal and so i appreciate that's the fact that's how gilligan's is there they they shut down in the winter they shut down you know a lot of places try to be open and i respect that too there's pros and cons to both styles of operation uh, both with your staff and with your inventories and stuff like that so i'm they, just glad that they were able to open up again and me too because there are a few businesses that have not been certainly. able to so, open but, up you know he it's... was definitely closed so you know they're kind of like still right back on their timeline i like his analogy of ripping the band-aid off and getting back to business <laughs> exactly and then at the same time uh, we, he sits about a half a mile from the prettiest asset in uh, the Emerald Coast, and there he is renting pontoon boats out. And I love the fact it, that the right there are on the Destin there. Harbor, it's, it's awesome. Right Everybody off, the was area. socially distanced in his little gazebo right there. I, so I nice. think if you're if you're traveling eastbound from the Destin Bridge, I think Gilligan's is right before Harbor Walk. I think uh, it's hard before Harbor Docks. Harbor Docks, that's it. Yes, it's Harbor on the right Docks, hand yeah. side across from Burrito del Sol. Uh, uh, right next to Harbor Docks. I think across from where Hogs Breath. No, right across from Har uh, Burrito del Sol because I sat right. there eating a burrito, burrito del Sol. looking yep. at Gilligan's sign. <laughs> so when you told me that uh, he was going to be our guest today, I was like, I had a flashback to I a, know that guy. I'm a big fan of Burrito del Sol as well. <laughs> and uh, shameless plugs for everybody that I just Both like to of them, eat Both of them, Destin and the downtown Fort Walton Beach. So uh, what a great uh, guest today, RJ. So let's uh, finish I mean, we got a few minutes show. left. You want to you wanna see Lay what national me, day today I didn't is? see anything. You know, again, I'll go back to the, uh, the fire stuff and Walton county um there's a lot of people that lost a lot of um well they lost their homes no lives very fortunate so but there's a lot of facebook information out there if you want to help some of these families um i mean i keep getting people messaging me um it's like i don't even know what we can necessarily do specifically other than to say to the people out there go to facebook pipe type in the walton county fire right and there's actually the donation drive being spearheaded by the butler elementary school there you go so and you then, can go uh, ahead and i know give there's them a, a teacher shot there. i mean i was in t almost in tears listening about the teacher that, that, at the school there that lost everything and there's a lot of there's 33 you know structures burned out there so if anything just keep conveying that message to yeah. help our neighbors uh to our east uh, but uh, let's, uh, we did some shameless plugs. And so what, what are the days that I get to look forward to as I go about my day? Yeah, the, uh, the, what you did not know today what was. What I didn't know today. today was, I'm ready. Well, today is actually <laughs> National Limerick Day. I can do that. Do you have a there limerick or two? a man from Nantucket? <laughs> Who? I'll let it stop. No, I don't know. Don't, don't. The bar owner, no, no. That's yeah. after the show. If you want to reach out to me after the show, I'll finish out the limerick of what's there once was a man from Nantucket. Right. So There's okay. a bunch. There's a bunch. Yeah. That's what you got? National Nutty Fudge Day. Oh, all, all day long. All day long. You just leave that screen I mean, up there. Have you, Nutty have, fudge? have you ever made your own fudge before? Uh, wow. As a kid. As a kid. Is that a joke? Or is that no, like, no, no, yeah, no. That's that what I said it. I, I, I said yeah. I asked myself. That could be taken the he wrong way. He forgets who he's dealing with. But, uh, <laughs> I have made fudge <laughs> once a way long, long, long time ago. I think my mom helped me. My mom did it. And she just told me you know, I was the manual labor. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm fine with National Fudge Day. Yeah. What else? Is that it? I mean, like when we go to um, uh, New Orleans, I love going over the, to Jack's. And they, oh, have that, they have that big uh, oh, okay. marble slab. Oh, and yeah. you're just watching them oh, yeah. folding oh, that. Yeah. That's just yeah. that's just awesome. I'm down with fudge. All right, and I'm gonna. This is a weird one. Okay. Of okay. all the things to be recognized, is it national today Day? is National Odometer Day. Wow! So that you're gonna recognize the how That's important gonna ruin me the odometers whole time are. I'm driving today. Actually, yeah. the first odometer was actually created in the 1600s. To basically the before track before the car. Before the car, it was actually used on wagons to track how far they actually travel. Well, there you go. I learned something today. I didn't know that. How so. about that? Yeah. So I'm gonna be staring at my odometer as it keeps getting big. Those numbers get bigger and bigger on that truck. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, so uh, we have to go ahead and give our, our thank you to Moz Coffee. Coffee. That's our fuel. Yeah, they fuel our, they fuel fuel our show. show every morning, and this is the uh, Mocha Cola. Yep, that is the it. Mocha Cola for you, my friend. Yeah. So uh, what a good show. Thanks, Gareth, for being here today, and to all of our, uh, our viewers out there, uh, enjoy today is Tuesday. And um, season's around the corner. Everybody be patient. Things are you know, opening back up. The beach is opening back up. It's gonna, no rain in the forecast. Uh, that's why I, the suntan. I swim yeah, every day yeah, you and I, swim every until day. I can, <laughs> until we have a rainy day. So, uh, well, uh, anything else you got for the show? That was good. That Gary was a good show. I'm glad we had him. Um, and then, if it works out for tomorrow, we'll probably have Nathan Boyles what? to tell us about the. He's dry, like the, a real official, official, official. It's gonna be our second official. This one's county. We're this moving is up. Like, but he's the man. We're gonna go. We're gonna go he's all the way the up man. to the state and then to the national. He's the man. Yeah. And we're then, talking about our the county yeah. commissioner. I'm so excited. We're hoping that works this out almost, well. Almost makes us legit. <laughs> Get ahead of myself. Hey, so, everybody out there. Uh, take care. Have out there fun. in the Emerald Coast, stay rational, my friends. Stay and, rational. And have a great day. Mm-hmm.